Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro had its first tease earlier this year and will get its bigger reveal at the October 6th event taking place in New York, and on to the Pixel 7 we've had all of the specs listed for the standard models thanks to Yogesh Brar on Twitter. He tweeted a Pixel 7 spec sheet today reiterating some details while also delivering previously unreported tidbits, core specs point to the previously confirmed Tensor G2 SoC 8GB of RAM and 128GB or 256GB of storage, also getting a 6.3-inch HD plus 90Hz OLED screen. We get the Tensor G2 and then upgrade it to the selfie camera, we might see some of the similar numbers compared to the last year Pixel 6 Pro the major updates you might see on the Pixel 7 or 7 Pro or few. Where at this time we might see a slightly battery on the Pixel 7 around 4700 million power instead of 4614 on Pixel 6, and a new Tensor Gen 2 chipset which will be more power efficient than the last generation, and the selfie shooter is getting an update from 8 megapixel to 11 megapixel with support for 90 Hz display. The colors options you can actually pick from basically black white or a third option which is lemongrass for the regular 7 and hazel for the 7 pro the gpu has also reportedly been upgraded from a mali g78 to a mali g710 so here open that the pixel 7 can play genshin impact on top graphics without absolutely filling its punch that smaller chipset size should be basically mean increased efficiency According to the Android police founder the Pixel 7 will retail at $599 in the US while it's $899 for the Pixel 7 Pro, basically Google is keeping the prices the same as last year. The Pixel 7 Pro does have a good chance of becoming a box office hit, provide the phone is bug-free and provide Google manages to drastically improve the performance of its in-house Tensor 2 chip performance. This was recently discovered in a Geekbench 5 listing where it's called 1068 for single core and then 3149 for multi. Google Pixel 7 We also be seeing Face ID makes its way to the Google Pixel 7, on the rear it's a dual camera setup consisting of a 50 megapixel Gen 1 sensor for the primary wide angle camera, and we get a 12 megapixel Sony IMX381 for the ultra wide. Next up the Pixel 7 Pro we've got a triple camera setup consisting of the 50 megapixel GN1 sensor for the primary wide angle camera, and finally we get a 48 megapixel GN1 sensor for the telephoto camera. Google is improving a machine learning by 35% and whopping 20% GPU improvements over the last year, which means we're going to get an amazing result out of camera and Pixel 7 Pro could be the best photography camera phone of this year. So, without been said, let me know your thought in the comment below, peace out.